All right, today we're talking about fractions, decimals, and percents, and converting back and forth between all of those things. Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, first, let's talk about converting decimals to percents and vice versa. Okay, this is the easiest part of the lesson, converting decimals to percents. Uh, basically, when we're converting decimals to percents, all we're really doing is multiplying these numbers by 100. But you can think of it just like this. We're basically taking the decimal and moving it two places to the right. All right, so super easy here. 0.42, our first example. If we're going to convert that over, you move that decimal two spots, and you get 42%. Uh, 6.2 here, move that decimal two spots, and you end up getting 620%. Notice how we ran out of numbers here, so we had to add in an extra zero as a placeholder, so 620% here. And this example down at the bottom, 0 0.0045, move that decimal twice, and we get 0.45%. That's totally fine. We can have a decimal inside of a percent. That's allowed. All right, so very easy here. The flip side of that then, converting percents back to decimals, it's just the opposite. You're going to start with the decimal here, move it two places to the left. All right, so 24% becomes, remember, if there is no decimal, the decimal is at the end of the number. So move it twice, and you get 0 0.24. 1.7% becomes point, and once again we're going to have to add in our own zero, 0, 1, 7, and 325% becomes 3.25. Okay, so that's the easiest part. Next let's talk about fractions into decimals, turning fractions into decimals. Uh, this is a little bit harder to actually do, but it's easy to remember because fractions tell you what to do with the way they look. You see, we've got 4 over 5. Well, to turn a fraction into a decimal, you just do a division problem. 4 divided by 5. 4 over 5, 4 divided by 5. All right? So let's do that. Remember, whichever number's on top is always going to be the number that goes in the house when you are dividing. Okay, so when we set up the division problem, it's going to look like that, with the 4 on the inside and the 5 on the outside. How many times does 5 go into 4? Well, zero times. So what we're going to have to do is put in a decimal. And then we can add as many zeros on the end of this 4 as we want to, now that we put that decimal in. So we'll drop, oops, I made a mistake here. 4 minus 0 is not 0, it is 4. And here we go. Drop that 0 down and now we've got 40. How many times does 5 go into 40? 8 times. 8 times 5 is 40. No remainders. And there we have it. 4 over 5 turns into 0.8, or 0 0.8, however you prefer, as a decimal. All right, let me switch colors here, and we will do 22 over 25. Same thing. Make sure you put the top number inside the house. Okay? How many times does 25 go into 22? Zero times. Subtract and we get 22. Okay, again, we're going to have to add in a decimal here, add in a decimal here, put a zero and drop it down. Now we can put 25 into 220. Okay, that's going to be about 8 times. 8 times 25 is 200. Subtract that and we get 20. We still have a remainder here, so we can add another zero, drop it down. 200, how many times does 25 go into 200? That's exactly eight times. And now we're going to take care of our remainder. And there we have it. 22 over 25 as a fraction becomes 0.88 as a decimal. So this is a little bit longer, more complicated, but just remember, top number divided by bottom number. That's it. <clears throat> Alright, let's talk about turning decimals into fractions then. Okay? Here's what you do. Here's the step. If we look at this first one, 0.16. Well, we need to turn it into a fraction, right? 
So let's go ahead and draw in our fraction bar. We know we're going to need a fraction bar for making fractions. Whatever number you have here, write it on top. Leave the decimal out of it. Okay, so just 16 instead of 0.16. We've got 16. On the bottom of your fraction, you're going to put the number 1, followed by as many zeros as you need to equal the number of digits behind the decimal here. So here's what I mean. 0.16 has two numbers behind the decimal, so you need to put in two zeros. Looking ahead, 0.250 has three numbers behind the decimal. You're going to need to put three zeros. Okay, but let's finish this one off first. 16 over 100. That's what it is. Now the only thing we need to do is simplify. Simplify. 16 and 100 can both be divided by 4. So we'll do that. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 100 divided by 4 is 25. That's as simple as we can get, so that's our final answer. 0.16 as a decimal is 4 over 25 as a fraction. Okay, let's look at this one here, 0.250. I'll switch colors. Okay, remember, first step, make your fraction bar. We'll put the number on top, 250, without the decimal. And on the bottom, we need a 1, followed by, again, three zeros, because we had three numbers behind the decimal here. So 1, 2, 3. Okay, now we just need to simplify. I know that 250 and 1,000 can both be divided by 250. And that's going to end up equaling 1 over 4. That will be our final answer there, 1 over 4. Last one here, 0.7. Okay, fraction bar, put the 7 on top. We need a 1 and then how many zeros? Just one zero this time. 7 over 10. Now 7 over 10 cannot be simplified, so that ends up being our final answer for that problem. 7 over 10. All right. Very last thing here, turning fractions into percents. Now you basically already know how to do this, because in order to do this, you have to turn this fraction first into a decimal, and then turn the decimal into a percent. So here's how it works. 18 over 20. We've got to turn it into that decimal first, so we'll divide. 20 goes into 18 zero times. We're going to need a decimal. I can see that already. All right, and now 20 goes into 180 nine times. Nine times zero is zero. Nine times two is 18. And there we have it. 18 over 20 is 0.9. But we don't need it as a decimal. We need it as a percent. So what do we do? Very easy. You take that decimal and you move it twice and that gives us a final answer of 90%. So 18 over 20 ends up being 90%. All right, very last example here. Let me erase a little bit of this, give us some room. 24%, we need to turn it back into a fraction. Well, we just need to do the reverse. We'll turn it into a decimal first, move that decimal twice, and we've got 0.24. How do we turn a decimal into a fraction? We've got to put our fraction bar, 2, 4 on top, 1 on bottom, followed by 2 zeros, and we've got 24 over 100. Now we just need to simplify. Let's see, we're going to be dividing this by 4 and by 4. 24 divided by 4 is 6. 100 divided by 4 is 25. And there is our final answer, 6 over 25. So 24% ends up being 6 over 25 as a fraction. So that is every single possible way you'll be asked to convert these. Uh, make sure you return to these videos. This is just, we only did a few examples of each. You might need to look at them a few different times to solve the problem. Finally, don't forget to answer the question in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow.